Right now, new drone regulations are in place, and those regulations could mean some changes in some North Texas businesses. Ken Molestina finds out how, all new at 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's, it's fun for me. I fly every chance I get. And now, drone enthusiasts like Taylor Vaughn are rushing to get licensed and certified by the FAA as commercial drone operators. I want it to continue doing roof inspections, real estate photography. Having the FAA 107, as it's referred to, is just one of the new guidelines laid out for commercial drone use. Operators will also have to register the drone. They can't fly higher than 400 feet, they can't fly at night, and the entire unit has to weigh less than 55 pounds. Don Garland owns Drones Plus Dallas, a retail and training center. He says now that the guidelines are in effect, he's overwhelmed with people wanting to get certified. Many of those people, he says, stand to make big bucks as operators. The drone market is, is probably the fastest growing segment in the electronics industry right now. And just so you get an idea of how much money is said to be made in the commercial drone industry, some estimates have it at tens of billions of dollars. The overall total market, 75 billion, is what they forecast. So we just fly it up to take a, take a picture of the whole house. Then we like to make little short videos. Of us. Derek Kendrick owns a solar panel company. For him, being a legal drone operator will save him a lot of money. But before we were doing it, we were hiring a helicopter. Now, with new guidelines in place, some say this is the window to a new industry. The drones are going to become a part of our life. That is promising to grow quickly. In Frisco, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.